So, episode four was crazy. It was it was really crazy. But this episode was even crazier. We're going to go over things that we've learned, but I don't know about you, but I got questions. I got I got all kinds of questions. We're gonna go over all that stuff right now. So first thing that we found out is that well we kind of found that out in episode four is that when it seems like they're disintegrating you, they're not disintegrating you. They're just transferring your matter to a void at the end of time, straight from Ravana's mouth. And now we also learned that they have done that to a lot of Lokis. I mean, a of a lot of Lokis, even um, Morbius was like, throw a rock in here, you hit a Loki. So when they first show the four Lokis, the older Loki, I guess the future Loki, we'll call them, uh, the kid Loki, the alligator Loki, which I still don't understand that. And then the black Loki is black Loki holding Milmir. And if that's the case, then shouldn't he have more power? Because I got questions and I wouldn't say all, but it looks like a fair share of them all die the same way. And that's with Thanos breaking her neck. It's crazy to think about Mad Titan. Next snap. And then one of the best parts of the whole episode was when Kid Loki revealed his Nexus event was that he killed Thor. Because our Loki's like, you did what? So Ravana got the drop on Sylvie. So she decides that now she knows that she's not going to get disintegrated, that her matters is going to get transferred. She pretty much does a thing to herself and gets transferred to the void at the end of time. And as soon as she gets there, she's like, the storm is on her. And I call it like, it reminds me of the storm that's in uh, Fortnite. You know, you just got to get away from the storm. Just if you run fast enough, hopefully you get away from it. Uh, the storm's about to get her, even though she does make a connection to it because the storm is Cynthia and it's an it's actual being. Uh, and then Morpheus shows up, you know, in like a piece of delivery car and helps out sylvie so our loki understands that the storm is cynthia and he wants to fight the storm but other Loki's looking like like you lost your mind we're not going to fight the storm so he's about to leave him and then these other loki's show up <laughs> get the drop on him and then they're like you know how you gonna lead the wolves to us and so on and so forth and this other loki who looks like our loki is looks like he's like a politician wearing a suit and all that other stuff and he has an army and come to find out the black loki double cross on everybody so now politics and loki is talking about the alligator loki the alligator loki actually bites off the hand of politician loki then a crazy fight scene breaks out between all the loki's so our loki kid loki and future loki are able to escape and they bump into morbius and sylvie so Sylvie wants to go after the storm too, but she doesn't want to fight the storm. She wants to enchant the storm. And the other Lokis are like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> and so I guess she also brought one of those teleport things and wants to give it to our Loki. Uh, but our Loki decides to stay with Sylvie. Uh, so she gives it to Morbius. Morbius is like, you got all the Lokis want to go. They're like, no, nah, we're going to stay here. So Morbius leaves oh, and he hugs our Loki, but he says to the female Loki that, you know, that she was his favorite. So then now our Loki and Sylvie are about to take on the storm. Uh, they're trying to distract it, they're trying to use things. It's not working. Then the future Loki comes and creates this illusion of Asgard. Like the whole thing uses all of his power uh, to distract the storm. And the storm winds up taking him, so he sacrificed himself. And then it looks like the storm is about to take out our Loki and female Loki when they finally make a connection and and they enchant the storm. And then it just opens up to like this like city or something like that. And the two Lokis are walking into it. And that's pretty much how it ends. What I want to know is everybody saying it's going to be Kane the Conqueror, which makes sense. But everybody also said that it was supposed to be Mephisto and WandaVision. 
it wasn't Mephisto. It made sense, but it wasn't. Do you feel like it's going to be Kane the Conqueror? Because I, I don't know. I, I feel like it could be Kane the Conqueror, but I feel like they're going to go in another direction. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Is it going to be Kane the Conqueror or is it going to be somebody else? In saying that, if you are new here to SEM, please hit the subscribe button, become part of this SEM Nation. Which comes part of this nation and the bell notification, you know when the video comes out. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. My name is Dorian. This is SEM. Thank you guys for watching my videos. We really appreciate it. And you guys have a good day.